everybody it's sunday morning now and our pizza last night was so good like best pizza we've ever made so i think at some point we're gonna do an actual recipe for it because it was just really really good so i'm gonna show you what we're doing today so oh no oh she's climbed in the veg patch so under the washing there's emmy's little teepee that we got her the other week um with some pegs because she was practicing those and Emmy's um, planting. Oh, is that a little tomato shoot? Yeah. Emmy's replanting it for you. <laughs> it was the only one that took like a few extra days, didn't it? So this morning, what are you doing? Burying the pots beneath the tomatoes, obviously. Is it hard work? It bloody is, yeah. So, you've been at this for what? Half an hour now? 45 minutes? Burying the pots in the greenhouse. That's too much He's storm. having fun. He's bought a spade now. And Emmy is... I'm just... Uh, I went inside for like... How many seconds? 30 seconds to get the camera. And that happened. Yeah. What happened, Emmy? It's not very warm today. Oh no, what's in that one? What's in that little green in the green tub? Nothing now. As long as she doesn't get that tomato. And she's sat she sat on that spinach and she sat on that spinach. Not that it was doing very well anyway. I'm kind of giving up on our veg patch this year. We sowed what like a hundred peas? Just because it was what we had left in the um, in the packet, and only one had come up over here from the other ones that we put in. We put like twenty in before, and one came up, so we thought we might as well stick the other hundred in. So they're all down there. Problem is, it's underneath this tree. Oh my goodness, what's that cat doing? Oh, Charlie, she sat on the neighbour's car. Naughty Charlie, naughty Charlie. smile. You didn't video me. I had loads of hard work here. I put that one in down there. And what have you been doing? Uh, what happened to that cup, Emmy? Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Oh, see. Hey, come here. You go. What are you going to do with that one? <laughs> Look at you. Literally just got you dressed as well. I didn't know you were going to come sit in the mud. Oh my goodness. Yes, that's good, is it? Okay. We're going out! Where are we going? I don't know, where are we going? Where are we going? Um, well, we're going to Castle Howard, but not actually to the castle, obviously. We are going to the ground... Well, not even the ground, so... It is the ground. It's the Castle Howard Estate, isn't it? Yeah, good? we're going to Castle Howard Estate, we're going for a walk around it, because obviously it's closed at the moment. But the garden centre has reopened, so we tried to go the other day to the garden centre, but we got there and the queue was like 20 people. I thought it was 20 long yeah, at least. It was exactly. really long. So, and we wanted to go for a walk as well while we were there. Oh, a bit bumpy. Because um, Castle Howard's only sort of... 20 miles. I mean, it says 20 miles, but I don't even think it's 20 miles. Well, that's what it says on the satellite navigation. I swear I can get there in 20 minutes. I bet you can. Anyway, it's not far from where we live. Um, so we wanted to go for a walk there the other day as well as going to the garden centre. We didn't go to the garden centre, but we did this walk and it was a lovely walk. It was like just over four miles, I think. Oh, my watch said 3.8 and it was lying. Um, so we'll, yeah, we'll see because Ben's watch keeps saying that we're doing... It's probably about half a mile extra. Isn't yeah, it? half a so mile extra compared to my watch. If and you do he... three or four miles, it's mine's like half a mile more. Yeah. 
we'll see what mine says compared to Ben's today. We'll see how long the walk is. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice walk because it takes you around the outside of the grounds of Castle House. So you go around the lake and you go up over a hill. Oh, look, they've got a baby hikey carrier thing yeah. too. Yeah, the Temple of Four Winds. Yeah, the Temple of Four Winds and um, I think that's the only real big thing you go past, isn't oh, it? There's the like the mausoleum the and the Oh, the new bridge it's called. It and then I think there's a mausoleum and a little pyramid thing as well. And yeah, we've lived near Castle Howard all our lives. Like it's over near where our parents live. Both of us come from the same area and our parents live there as well still now. And we just never really paid that much attention to Castle Howard. Just kind of went to the garden centre a couple of times. Like we went when we were younger to Castle Howard. And when we went the other day, we realised it's actually really pretty and really spectacular as well. So we want to pay more attention to it in future and go for more walks there. So we're heading back there today to do just that. Tell us where we are. We're um, somewhere you can see, what's it called? Connoisseur. Connoisseur. <laughs> I thought there'd be more to it than that. <laughs> what's happening, Ems? <laughs> Fancy. <sighs> Anyway, this is, you walk down the road, which is annoying, the start of the, the start of the um, footpath is down a road. And then you come out into like fields and stuff after, well, it's, as it turns out, I'm just over a mile or a mile and a half or so. Which seems like a long way on the road really, but it goes right into the verge, doesn't it? There is a proper track. Emmy, load, 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 People out there. I can't remember which one that was. What's that up there? You can't even hear me, can you? What's that one? I can't remember what that one was. What, what was that one? Because that was the Temple of the Four Winds, the one over there. Yeah. Then there's the castle itself is up behind there. Mm -hmm. And the new bridge. I can't remember what that one was. And then this is the new bridge, which is not particularly new. There's a kissing gate. Emmy, kiss. Kiss Emmy. Mwah. <laughs> and then this. Stop filming a second. Hang on, is a missing pocket compass. Reward for its safe return. We better find it. So, it's probably, look, they've all bricked up those windows, yeah. can you see? Two of them are, the rest aren't there. Oh, oh yeah. That's weird. Bricked from the inside. 
They look really grubby, the windows up there, though. I don't think anyone lives in it. It's probably just storage. Oops, I was pointing at the sky. We walked all the way. And so far, from what we can tell, Ben's watch is right and mine's wrong. So. It's all like twizzly and gnarly. Yeah, there's another one down here, but that one's cool too. This one down, that one's alive still though. The one down here was dead. Oh. Let's see. It's really windy now. I've got a cold ear. Does anyone else get earache when it's windy? Proper old tree that one, isn't it? Yeah, like um, Hex Nelson Towers, that's what we said the other day, didn't we? Almost home and Emmy's hungry. Or well, almost back to the car anyway. Got to drive home. Anyway, it turned out the drive was um, shorter because we went a different way to what the sat-nav said. I mean, we know how to get there, but we put the sat-nav on because there are like three or four different ways. We were like, oh, we'll see which way it says. And the way it said, we were like, sure, it's not that far. So we went the way we thought we should and it took, what was it? A third of the distance off? 10 miles? 10 minutes off. It went from, yeah, five miles it took off, which is a big difference. We made it. We can finally go home and get Emmy her tea. That's the building with a dead body. <laughs> That's where the body would be if this was Midsummer Murders. He's the umpire. Yeah, because this is like a cricket ground from the looks of it. Yeah. And there's the garden centre over there. Farm shop over there. Farm shop over there. And then this is where you park to get into Castle Howard, but then you have to go on the tractor, don't you? I mean, you don't have to go on the tractor, do you? Did you go on the little track that takes you down to the house? Or you can walk. But where's the fun in that? See if anyone's bought our books. I don't think anyone wants any books. I put some books out in case anyone wanted them for free or for the Yorkshire ambulance, but no one's taken any yet. Okay, <gasps> go, go, go. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh wow. <gasps> Ooh, this is from a local pub. Piggy fries. Oh my goodness. We've ordered all that. My mouth is literally watering. We have had so much good food. I hope it's good anyway, but we've had so much good food this weekend if this is good. Is this the burger? Oh, it's upside down. Well. Isn't it? <laughs> I'm sure we'll survive. That was, that. that was an American burger with pastrami and stuff. Churros. Oh, oh my goodness, they're my massive ones. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at all this food. Okay, I'm gonna go because we're gonna eat this. So we've got the steak balbon, piggy fries topped with like, oh, I don't even know, pulled pork, bacon, I think, cheese. We've got an American pastrami burger, and we've got buttermilk fried chicken wings with a spicy sauce, I think buffalo, and it tastes like Caesar dressing, randomly, but oh, mine looks more of a mess. Um, first, how good was that? That was really good. Really was good. it as good as your pizza last night? I think it was better. 
there was more work going into it than the pizza. True, true, yeah. That was so good. That's good. And we've got a balbon left and three chicken wings left yeah, for tomorrow because the chicken wings were huge. We only had one each. And we've also got churros. What are they going to look like? What are they going to look Probably like? Probably haven't gone soft. Oh, smell that silly oh my dinner. gosh, they smell like proper. Mm. Oh, goodness. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm good at eating.